Okay, so welcome to the first video in what's going to be a multiple part series that I call the uh, Fishing Mythbusters. Now, on the internet, you'll often see people repeating a lot of things um, that they've heard or read without finding out for themselves if it's actually true or not. So the first video I'm going to do, or the first myth I'm going to try to bust, is the persistent myth that if you have centrifugal brakes where you can adjust them, like this Core 50, that you need to engage the opposite brake shoes. So right there, I think Shimano from the factory engaged two brake blocks here on the Core 50, and they are directly opposite of each other. So according to the uh, myth, I'm gonna say, or the uh, persistent rumor is that if you don't engage the opposite brake blocks, for example, if you want to engage this brake and this brake, your spool is going to be so unbalanced and wobbly, it's going to wreck your reel. Um, I've heard that. Uh, it's gonna shorten your cast distance, I've heard that. And all sorts of bad things would happen if you use uh, <clears throat> if you have a uh, brake blocks that are not opposite of each other so here's another example so I have three brake blocks on and three off and these are all on one side and these are of course all on the other side so most people think that if you want to activate three three blocks you'd have to do them like this or the spool becomes so unbalanced and bobbly and vibrates so bad that your reel will blow up in your hands and send you to the hospital. So I'm going to find out if that's true or not. I'm going to be using this uh, Core 50, which uses the old Shimano VBS. I'm going to also be trying it out on Abu Garcia's new Revo STX with their adjustable uh, brake system where you can lock the arms and I'm also going to be trying it out on Shimano's newest SVS Infinity. Now, I'm not going to be using this Corrado, I'm going to be using a Scorpion 70 but you get the idea. So I'm going to get out on the water, I'm going to uh, cast around, adjust these brakes and see if that's really true or not and uh, let's see what happens. Okay so I'm out here at the lake and I'm going to start out with the Scorpion 70 and what I've done is I've activated only two brakes, this one and this one, and they're directly opposite of each other and uh, let's give it a couple of casts. So try to remember where that landed. Okay, we'll give it one more cast and then we'll adjust those brakes. I'm gonna put the, uh, when I cast it, I'm gonna put the reel up to the GoPro so you guys can listen to the sound it makes. All right, we'll give it one more cast. Now what it's doing is making the typical centrifugal brake noise, which is a slight buzzing sound because the uh, brake shoes are making contact with uh, a metal pipe. Oh shit, stepped in the water. Okay, so they're landing roughly about the same spot, probably about 25 yards out. Okay, so now I'm going to deactivate this brake shoe and then leave this one activated and then activate the one that's next to the side. So these two 
are the only ones activated and these are deactivated so technically since it's on one side according to the people on the internet that claim that uh, this will make the uh, brakes unbalanced it should give us uh, it should vibrate the spool I guess I guess it should uh, decrease the cast distance etc etc so let's see Okay, cast distance about the same. If you guys think the other setting went farther, let me know. Yep, about the same. Okay, do you guys think that went any less, I guess, was it shorter in distance? Okay, so let's see if it uh, makes any kind of crazy noise and vibrates the spool. Yeah, I can tell you that it feels exactly the same as if the brakes were opposite of each other. Let's do one more. No kind of weird vibration. The spool is not rattling. It doesn't affect the distance. There's no backlash or bird's nest happening. But maybe it's just this new Shimano SVS Infinity system that can do that. So let's go to the old VVS system and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so since my dumbass left the Core 50 at home, uh, before I run back and get it, we're going to go ahead and see how this uh, affects the Revo STX. So right now, the Revo STX has no brakes on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate three of them equally spaced. So that means every other brake I'm going to activate. So three on, three off. And I wish these brakes weren't such a pain in the ass to activate. There. I swear one of these days I'm going to break one of these arms off. Okay, so three on, right there, and three off. Okay, so pay attention to that distance. All right, so the Abu Garcia brakes, the IVCB brakes, make a, a distinct noise different than than other braking systems. I think it's because the brake arms have a uh, some kind of a padding on it. But as usual, with centrifugal brakes, they do make noise. Now, let me let you guys hear what it sounds like. So that sounds slightly different than Shimano's SVS, and it sounds slightly different than the Luz braking system. Let me let you guys hear one more time. Now let's 
deactivate two brakes and activate two. So I'm leaving this one on and I'm going to activate the ones that are right next to it. So that's going to mean one set of brake arms, one bank on one side are all activated while the other side is deactivated. Man, these brake arms are a pain in the ass. There, finally, good lord. So three on, these three are on, and the other side is off. So let's see if that uh, makes any kind of difference. Okay, that's one cast. That's two casts. Now, to me, it sounds pretty much the same. All right. So there's no vibration. There's no jarring of the reel. As you can see, There's no spool wobble, nothing. As you can see, distance is about the same. Spool control is the same. Let me let you guys listen. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys listen to one more cast before I go home and uh, get my core. So nothing. So that uh, persistent saying that uh, you have to activate the opposite brake blocks is obviously false. It's a myth. But we got one more reel to test. So let's go home. Let me go home and uh, get it. Okay, so we are back out here with the mighty Core 50. I went back home and got it. Luckily, I don't live too far away. And we are gonna start out with the standard two brakes on configuration of this brake on and this brake on. Now these VBS brakes, these old style brakes from Shimano, they're really quiet compared to the others. So hopefully you'll be able to pick up uh, any kind of noise that they make. Okay, I haven't fished this Core 50 in a while and now I remember why it's one of my favorite reels ever. It's just so simple and simple and smooth. And these brakes are what uh, people call set and forget. Basically you just set your two brakes on inside and just start fishing. No matter what lure you tie on, maybe you need to do some spool tension adjustments. But for the most part, the simplicity of these brakes is what makes a lot of uh, old school Shimano fans not like the newer style brakes. Okay, so are you guys paying attention to where that uh, lure is landing? All right. Show you guys a couple more casts. And then we'll switch up the internal setup.
Now I'm going to do a couple of casts and let you guys listen to what these brakes sound like. Very quiet. Okay, so that's what it looks like and sounds like with two brakes on opposite of each other. So let's deactivate this top brake right here and we'll activate one of the ones that are right next to this one, which is activated. We'll do this one. So we have these two brakes activated and all these are deactivated. So according to the persistent myth is that this reel, the spool should be so unbalanced, it'll be loud, it'll vibrate, it'll set off earthquakes, it'll kill millions of people. But I'm gonna show you guys anyway. Huh, I didn't feel any earthquakes. Are y'all feeling any earthquakes being set off by the uh, unbalanced brake configuration? Yeah, I don't see any kind of change in distance. Man, I wish I had more Core 50s. I sold most of them off and just kept one. I'm gonna go on eBay and see if I can find a, a brand new one. Okay, so apparently That is a myth that we've just busted. You don't need to set opposite brake arms or shoes to be able to cast the centrifugal brake reels. So I'm gonna make a few more casts and let you guys listen to see if you hear any kind of uh, extra noise. Ooh, it did make a little bit of noise at the beginning, but that's because I casted it extra hard to get more distance. Don't feel any kind of vibration now. With this reel here, because it's super light in magnesium, vibrations uh, you tend to feel them more than with the aluminum frame reels. Nothing. Feels exactly like I had the other two, the other brakes set up. Okay guys, I, I think we've sufficiently busted this myth. Okay, so we are back from out on the water testing and uh, hopefully the video footage was good enough for you guys to see that the persistent myth that you have to engage the opposite brake arms or brake shoes is just that, a myth. And I've uh, successfully demonstrated that with uh, three different brake systems. And just to hammer home the point even more, let's take a look at a different brake system. Now this is a system that uh, 
It's very limited in its settings and you can't even control which brake blocks you activate. So right now it is on zero. And then here's one. And then here's two. So assuming that we're on two, I'm assuming that two brake shoes will be activated. So if that rumor or that persistent uh, myth were true, then the manufacturer would have had two opposite brake shoes uh, activated from each other. So let's see. All right, so I'm spinning the spool to make the brakes fly out. Okay, so there we go. There's one right here, and then there's one right here. So they are not opposite of each other. So if the myth was true, then the other brake shoe would have been right here, or there would have been another brake shoe right here. If you guys can see those shoes right there, there's one right there, and then there's one right there. So let's see what happens if we go to four. Okay, so myth busted yet again. There's three on right here. There's one, two, three, and then there's one on down here. So there we go. The uh, myth of having uh, the opposite uh, centrifugal brake adjusted or it'll uh, ruin your reel has been busted. If you ever hear or see somebody saying that crap, um, just tell them to shut up and send them the link to this video. Alright guys, thanks a lot.